going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. And today we're taking a look at the Basic Series 141 Chase LA Knight in the yellow. Um, so if you guys are interested in grabbing this figure, it is now available and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. And you guys shop to use promo code 4LIFE. It will save you 10% off your order at checkout. So I did actually just review the, uh, the standard version of the LA Knight in the red trunks. Um, and I said in that video, if you guys did watch it, that I had the Chase coming. I was debating on whether to wait and do, um, you know, both figures together in one video. Uh, it didn't come in time. I was really excited to, like, crack them out of the box. I didn't want to wait. So I said, screw it. Let me uh, get this review up. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are curious to see this in hand. His, his first Mattel figure. Um, and, you know, well-deserved. He's so popular right now. But then the Chase figure came, and I, I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see another video of the pretty much the same figure. But we'll do kind of a quick kind of look through on this figure. And again, it is pretty much the same, just different coloration on the trunks. And I think the boots, and we will definitely do some comparisons with the standard version. But the box itself is the same box that we did, uh, did get prior. You get the Basic Series 141 with the new packaging. LA Knight, first time in the line. You can see he does have the yellow and red trunks on this. You got the new basic articulation for this figure as well. In the back, you'll see the little read up here. First time line signature move, BFT, the other figures in the wave. Let's crack the Chase version out of the box and see if it's better than the standard. Taking a look at the basic 141 Chase LA Knight figure, you can see the difference with the attire. He does have the yellow and red trunks versus the red and black that did come with the standard version. I originally thought that this attire was from his Royal Rumble match uh, with Bray Wyatt in that pitch black or blackout match, whatever it was billed as. Um, that attire looked to be different from the quick pictures I took a look at. I think the logo on the front may be in a different color or just a different design. But nonetheless, it does look great. Let's bring him in a little closer. You can get a look at that head scan. Like the likeness to LA Knight is spot on. On. absolutely love the kind of side smirk love the sculpting of the hair and this is exactly the same as the standard version so you're not getting anything different as far as the head scan but let's take a close-up look at his tights that's where you're going to notice the major difference he's got the beautiful yellow trunks with the red design i feel like a lot of people don't wear yellow anymore just it pops really well especially on this figure on the back look how clean that decal looks la night mine does kind of have some marks on it i did notice Still a few dots here. I don't know what that is or just kind of maybe some residue left over from the paint. Uh, but nonetheless, other than that, I love the logo of the LA, uh, LA Knight decal on the back. It is different from the standard version, which we will compare. But you will see he does have this nice ripped torso. He does have the elbow pad. Uh, does have the hand tape, just like the standard. And if you guys did not watch the last video, I'm going to do it again. Basics now. The heads are removable. And the hands are also interchangeable, so you can pop off those hands. You can put another figure on here. You want to take this head and throw it on an elite body, you can. But I did want to make it known that these basics, I feel like, are back. Basics are alive. They have a new life. And just little things like that have really freshened them up and made me excited for it. Articulation-wise, we will do it real quick, too. So the arms do go fully out. They rotate. There is only a single-jointed elbow here, if you guys can see that. It does hinge or swivel around. You do get the wrist rotation, goes up and down. The head fully rotates. You do get waist swivel. The legs kick up a lot more. You guys will notice that. There's new leg articulation on these basic figures. You get a single jointed knee, which is actually bendable. Uh, you can also see this one's actually a little stiff, but it does move a lot better than the older basics. We did a full on comparison uh, of the basic articulation evolution kind of with some older figures to the new one. The, knee, the legs actually do swivel. They are on ball joints. I know a lot of people did ask me that. You guys can see that. Uh, the figure is on ball joints, so you can possibly remove them, but you get a little nice range of motion with this figure. It just pops really well. Uh, I did want to point out one thing. I know a lot of people are asking me. So he does have a hinge on his boot here. That I don't believe is standard with the new basics. I feel like this was kind of a one-off. Maybe it was his first figure. There was a lot of hype, so they did actually go ahead and throw those uh, the foot hinge here. I think most of the basics will not have that on the new articulation. Maybe it's a case-by-case -case basis, but this figure will not. But while we're at it, let's look at his boots. You can see he's got the little logo here on the back. The standard version of boots, I think, are a little nicer. It has Knight on the top and LA on the corners. But this just has the two red designs. And he has the white soles versus the red that did come with the standard figure. But let's come back and we'll compare both. All right, so we have both versions here. I did want to run through some comparisons, and you guys can decide which one you'd want for your collection. I personally love both. Uh, they are different enough, personally, for me to add, and I'm a huge LA Knight fan. I feel like he's killing it right now, but let's bring him in real close. You'll see the head scans are exactly the same. The torsos, the, arm, the hand paint, the elbow pad is all the same. The major difference you're going to fall through here, let's zoom in, is the trunks. So really, if you prefer the red 
or the yellow. But look at the back. I'm going to say I like both. Don't get me wrong. Both decals on the back look nice. I like to chase uh, LA Knight on the back a little more than the standard. Just looks nice and clean. Just something different. Kind of a little bit of a vintage look. I uh, really do like uh, both of them. The boots again. You'll see the chase here has just that logo. Uh, the standard has the LA in the corner with the knight around the top, which the chase does not. I think I like the actual um, standard boots better. And the soles on the bottom, you get the red versus the white on the yellow trunk chase figure. But in a nutshell, that is both LA Knight figures. Let me know down in the comments below, which one do you prefer? Are you going to get both? Are you only going to get one? Of course, we do have an Elite coming. I believe it's that Elite 108. I don't remember off the top of my head, but both these figures are a must add to your collection if you ask me. And if you guys are enjoying this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. As far as this LA Knight figure goes, I absolutely love it. I think this figure is great. If I honestly had to pick, I think I actually like the Chase just slightly more than the standard version, and they are both phenomenal figures. I don't think you can go wrong with either. Uh, but again, it is a personal preference. I say if you can get both, grab both if you only need one. I'm going to go with a chase. Just something about it looks a little more toyetic in my opinion. But if you are interested in Graham, this figure is now available and shipping at ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop through promo code 4LIFE, it will save you 10% off your order. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. I will catch you all on the next video review.